Morning! Now, I know this isn't brute, but I was kind of tested by Bronson Blood, where he's like, hey, have you read Sl uh, Sledge of Anvilheim? I'm like, oh yeah, you know, just swings for six. But the thing he didn't, like, I never picked up in Crucible War, it doesn't... It doesn't say once per turn. So I challenged myself, I'm like, oh! Let's make a deck. So this is my Blitz Anvilheim Guardian deck profile. Or deck tech as you fucking magic cunts like to call it. That'll be fun editing out. <laughs> So, yes, bravo, uh, we, we have the foil one just because it's foil, and Sledgeheim. This entire deck is built around just Sledgeheim, but the deck really fucking works, like it actually works. The main goal for this deck is you'll have one big turn where you can swing Sledge three times, and then hit him with the Crippling Crush during the game at some point. You usually want to hit with this first, because, like, you want to kill their equipment first. It doesn't matter against Ninja because Ninja runs no blocking equipment. But hitting with them this first enables you being able to, like, crippling crush them later. I guess we'll start off with equipment. Equipment. Helm of Eisen's Peak. Better than Skull... Skull Horn? Uh, skull... Skull... Skull Cat. Skull... Yazi's had a few drinks, sorry. Now the re main reason why we're playing Eisen's is just because of that one draw. Now because you want that extra intellect in your deck, or extra intellect, having it just on your helm so you can crack it whenever you want is actually better than Skull uh, Skullcap. Eisen's Peak, very good. Uh, block one and then you know you can use the effect to draw one whenever you want during the game Usually before one of the turns where you want to set up with crippling crush or with your with your hammer uh, Iron rot legs uh, Iron rot legs. We're trying to play like as much defensive as possible and then of course uh, Majestic block two block one and Tectonic plating. Yeah, literally just there for blocking and you can use the effect for the tectonic, but we really really don't care too much and then Because wizards a thing we run out for arcane barrier stuff and mage master boots can help um, But at the same time, I really don't think it really helps too much like time snap potion You can put it down and swing if you really want, but you really 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 don't care So I know what you're thinking Yazi He's like, how are you going to swing three times when you only have one action point? The MVP of the deck, mm. Flock the Feather Walkers. <laughs> we play six copies. Now, you want to set this up during or before the turn where you want to swing with Hammer. Um, so, that's why we play six copies. Two red, two yellow, two blue. They're good. They're, so, if you don't know the card, reveal a one cost or less card from your hand and... You uh, create a Quicken token. The Quicken token can sit there for like five turns if you want and then pop it off. Same card despite having different fucking... Yes! Oh, it actually is. We okay. learnt these things. Alright, so let's go on to the deck. <laughs> <laughs> let's go on to the deck, Phil! Let's go to the deck! Let's go to the mages! We go to the mages! Go to the mages, boys! So yes, we'll go on to the action or aura cards. So, blessings of deliverance. This is pretty good. We only play the red one. You like on your off turns, you can draw a card and then you can like swing with hammer. But you're mainly only playing it because if you go first, it's very good. You get the extra health. Uh, yeah, and we play a lot of th uh, three cost cards. Uh, Showtime, another very 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 good first turn because you can just search out your crippling crush. Um, and then like hit him with a big attack by blocking one or two cards Very very good. Yeah, and because you've got the extra intellect you're gonna draw the like uh, I mean you draw a card at the start of your turn Crippling crush no need to say why this card's amazing, but it's very very good especially against um, like decks that don't run a lot of equipment like uh, you see a lot of Rhinars and you see a lot of ninjas and they, they don't like to play a lot of equipment So running Crippling Crush is very good 
especially if you are coming in with Anvilheim first, because that will chip all their equipment down because they're not going to block their entire hand every single time. Towering Titan, we only, only play this if you uh, use this if you're going first. Um, every other time is just block or just extra, uh, uh, extra, extra energy, pitch, uh, re yeah, pitch, pitch, resource. Fucking Two man, time man. snap potions. The, so this is the main reason why this deck is possible. You want to set up one of these and then your quicken token. So you can swing with, uh, swing with Anvilheim and then pop this and then come swing, swing again. And it's one of those turns where you just have to like keep our entire hand. It's four cards, so 12 energy to swing, not yet, to 12 energy to swing three times with this. Yes, and then Gorgonian Tone, very good card. You mainly want to use it in your arsenal, so you can play it for turn and then draw up and then you'll have five cards to use. Or if you needed to block during a turn before, you get that one extra card. Uh, one deck this deck could kind of lose to is OTK Vis, but if they're playing Gorgonia Tome, it's an easy win because you will wait before they play theirs. They will play theirs as soon as they see it. You set yours up. Now the cards that literally don't matter. Blue Batilla de Debilitate. Blue Cartilage Crush. Blue Crippling Crush. Blue bul uh, Bulwark, Bulwark Blow. Blue Choke Slam. Blue disable. <laughs> blue disable. Blood slam. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah and uh, uh, blue uh, crush the weak. Um, yeah, these cards, these are only here because they're guardian blue blocks. So you could basically just say these aren't in your deck and these are just all blue energy and blocks for three. I was even thinking about like running uh, wounded ball blue in this because blocks for three. But yeah, so this is your deck and this is just... Facilities. Fucking optional, man. Optional, optional. Optional, man. LDEs. Um, LDEs are very good because you can just go, oh, I'm going to play really late game, and then come in then for yes. eight with Dominate as well. Come on, then. Play. Phil. <laughs> blue uh, Raging Onslaught. It's just there because it's blue uh, and pitches for three, so it can hit off Blessings of Deliverance. Sigil, because this is your very best going second card. If you are going second, this, you know, like pitch, pitch, heal six. Uh, now, we run four blue unmovable. This says unmovable, but it also says if you're versing warrior, you can uh, pitch two cards and it blocks for eight, and then you got your unmovable as well. No, that's Phil. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the deck. Um, so, real cuttable cards, you can cut this for Stamp Authority. Um, but you could also cut these for Stamp Authority as well. But I really like this because the extra heal. Going first is, is better than Stamp Authority because the heal is better than one Intellect. The one intellect will only be for that turn you use it, while the heal will cons like consist along through the game. That's the deck. We'll be probably doing a lot of decks like this in the future, where it's just fucking around for a little bit. But for my big brutes, we'll probably be doing one or two videos every single set where, you know, I go around, run around, and do all these hoo-ha, yahoo Dumb stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you'll be getting a lot of decks like this, and... I hope people like it, and that way I'm uploading more. Like, this deck costs nothing. He, like, he never explained that uh, blue, red, and yellow can also be the same card, just also has different mana variables. I'm going to steal that part. You didn't fucking video. explain that. <laughs> I didn't know that. The only cards you really need to put money into is this, and then, of course, your uh, tectonic plating, or tectonic plating, and the, the, the Goliath Gauntlets. Yazi yeah, here. Yazi here, and I'll see you later. Come another time. You've always been terrible without trouble.